Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are reviewing Nobody, starring Bob Odenkirk. So diving straight into Nobody, I think it's pretty fair to discuss the elephant in the room. Is this just a John Wick ripoff? Kind of, yes. I would lean towards saying it's heavily inspired by John Wick rather than a ripoff. It does have its own natural elements and it does take its own path. It just happens to be very similar in tone and nature at times. So nobody is about Bob Odenkirk's character, who is an everyday Joe, if you will. He has an office job, he is a bit bored by it, his life seems to be just passing him by, daily chores and parenting seem to fill the gaps in between, until he finally crosses paths with the wrong people, and he finally decides that enough is enough. He's going to get vengeance. And that really is the plot of the movie. It's simple, it's straightforward, but they really do get the full potential out of it. Bob Odenkirk is fantastic. I think he's perfectly cast for this. He fits the bill perfectly. I didn't think it would work initially. I was a little bit concerned. I like Bob Odenkirk a lot, but is he really that tough, macho guy? Not really, he's more the comedic, slimy guy on the side who you can't quite trust, but you like him. It's all good, man. I was very impressed by him here. It's such a simple performance, but it speaks volumes, if that makes sense. He makes his character feel like an everyday me or you. And I love that about his performance. The family dynamic does feel quite real, actually. I don't remember the wife and child's names, but I did believe their relationship. I did understand how their everyday life would work. I didn't even think that the baddies were generic. I thought they actually did quite well in not making them too stereotypical. Of course, they are throwaway. They are just, you know, henchmen, but they just felt a little bit more realised than some other films would do with these sort of characters, you know, with like the bad Russian accents and the leather jackets. Like, some of those cliches were there, but they didn't go full tilt. They kept it in the pocket nicely, enough for you to buy it. You believe the changing character as well. It's very understandable. The film does a very nice job and paces it nicely as to this sort of, it feels like his character is a kettle slowly boiling. And when it boils, yeah, it's gonna go off. So it worked for me. I didn't think it was too dramatic. I didn't think it came out of nowhere. I thought it lined up nicely. I thought it was written well. I thoroughly enjoyed this movie from start to finish. It had my full attention. I would gladly watch it again. Bob Odenkirk is phenomenal here. He really is brilliant in this movie. Yeah, I I really struggled to find anything wrong with this. I, I thought I was going to be mm, on it because I thought it was just going to be, eh, it's just John Wick 2.0 really, isn't it? But it wasn't. It really did have its own identity. It really did have its own ideas. And I loved that about it. I guess I could say it is John Wick, but it's John Wick with a touch of humanity to it, to a little bit more realism to it, a little bit more relatability to it, and I think it actually improves the movie. So I'm going to give Nobody a 10 out of 10. <laughs> This is one of my favourites of the year so far. I was really surprised by this. And yeah, I would gladly get it on Blu-ray. I'd gladly watch it again. I'd gladly recommend it to you if you like a light-hearted action comedy type of film that doesn't pull its punches. It's not particularly gory, but some of the hits, you feel them. They, they look pretty real. Yeah, I'd absolutely recommend this to you. I, I thought it was a fantastic watch. Thanks for watching this review. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm looking to do some reviews on some football-based movies in the coming weeks because of the Euros starting up, which I think will be a lot of fun. So keep your eyes peeled for that if that interests you. Stay safe, and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.